What's going on guys? I'm gonna do a short review on a wave shaper. This is the Liquid Force Wake Surf Edge. Um, it's the version 2.0, it's about 250 bucks. I've got a Mastercraft X10. I've got um, two fat sacks back here, two ballast tanks, and I've got one in the center and then one up front. Uh, it equates to around 2,000, 2,200 pounds, somewhere in there. So I'm gonna show you what it's like without a wake shaper, and then I'm gonna put this on, and you guys can see the difference for yourself, how it shapes and improves the wake. Um, this boat does not come factory with anything back there to shape the wave uh, wedges or built-in wake shapers. Um, so this is a great alternative, a cheap alternative also, if you want to clean up your wave without spending the money and putting the stuff back there on your boat all right guys this is the x10 with full ballast i'm going to show it show what the wave looks like without the wake shaper As you can see, it's a pretty crappy and messy wave. We're going about 10 miles an hour right now, 10 to 11 miles an hour. And that's a pretty unsurfable wave. We're gonna stop now and go ahead and throw the wedge on. All right guys, so we're about to throw the wedge on. Basically, it's got two suction cups. And the only important thing uh, that you wanna know when installing this is, one, put it towards the back of the boat as far back as you can, and two, it's gotta be on a pretty flat, smooth surface. So every boat is different, and what you wanna do is put it below the water level as low as you can and as far back as you can, wherever you have a nice, smooth, flat spot. So you're just gonna dunk it in. It's got these handles right here that clamp down whenever you get the suction cups on firm. And you'll feel it if it doesn't, if it doesn't, if it doesn't clamp good, it'll just come right off and you'll have to just press it again. It's on there. Nice and tight. All right guys, so we got the wake shaper installed. Uh, let's see what it looks like, how it helps our wake. Again, we're going about 10, 11 miles an hour, and you can see the huge difference that it makes cleaning up the wake and actually making your boat have a surfable wave. Hope that helped. Again, it was about 240 bucks. So if you guys 
um, are interested in buying it for the cheap, you know, cleaning up your wake for a lot cheaper than putting factory stuff in, definitely a good alternative, and uh, check it out. Thanks.